Woman to Woman is the only one of the shelters that has the children's center. The, ch the only one, yes, the, this kind of a child, all, all of the shelters, the, the, the children come with their mothers right. to all of the shelters, but we are the only one that invests heavily in a therapeutic program. We raise half of our, of our budget, wow. and that means that much of the, almost the entire therapeutic program for the children is, is from contributions, and it's $18 checks and $36 checks that add up right. to, 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 to create that entire center. They're going toward having a program that has different age groups so that if a 13-year-old child arrives and a toddler arrives, they're not, getting, they're not in the same framework. They have a specific mm -hmm. program for each, for each child and re the relevant staff. That includes uh, a whole program for meeting the educational needs of, of the older children, of the children who are six and seven and eight years old, not, right. not the toddlers. So that includes private lessons, and it includes an advocacy program in the local school to really help them get on their feet scholastically. Yeah. Those, are, those are things that don't exist in other shelters, and it's because we've been fortunate enough to be able to, to raise money and, and to yeah. have this amazing community that, right. that assists us. Okay. And woman to woman, our only basically our only project is the shelter and the halfway house. It's not uncommon for a woman once she's begun a process here to stay uh, seven, eight, nine months, and then go on to the halfway house, which is another year. So six of our twelve apartments are funded by um, by the state. By the state, and, and, and raise the balance. Yeah. Yeah, we raise the balance, and that includes. The, it's not only the physical apartment; it's it's a, a scholarship program that goes with the with the apartments. It's practical assistance that we provide the women. It's ongoing legal aid right. that they receive also after their stay in the shelter, and sometimes even years after they've left the halfway house. It's uh, obviously a support group, a uh, individual meetings with their caseworker every week. Mm -hmm. It's help with the children. Today is July 2nd. Right. It's school is school out. is out. If a woman is working and she needs help with her children, we raise money to pay for Kaitanov or to pay for day camps in um, in in the local community and we're also here in the month of August and our children's center stays open so the children can come here when there aren't any frameworks in the community. Okay. The community integration program which is what we right. call stage three which is after a woman is left is finished with the shelter and finished with the halfway house but she continues to to be in touch with us and her children continue to receive help and right. so right. the transition from from the sheltered environment either the shelter or from the halfway house to independent living is can be very traumatic and, and very threatening and, and i imagine very difficult for the children very difficult for the children very difficult financially again if you ask if you want to just talking about what we raise contributions for every woman who leaves our shelter, if this is not true of all of the shelters, gets a one month rent subsidy for, for rent and we provide assistance with just basic, uh, like we call it rehabilitation grant, but just basic furniture and mm -hmm. um, you know, money to just to, to equip her, to her apartment to get started.